A commonly asked question in interviews is what happens if your design is taped out while there are still setup and hold violations in the design? And the answer is if we have a setup violation or a hold violation in our design and we tape it out and it gets manufactured, either or both of these violations will cause a chip to fail to function properly. Usually, a follow-up question to this is, can we still make the chip work after it is being manufactured with setup or hold violations? And the answer is, maybe. We know that setup timing is usually dependent on the clock period or frequency. So, after the chip is manufactured, we can try reducing the frequency at which the chip is running. So, for example, if the chip was originally intended to run at 2 GHz, we can try reducing the operating frequency to 1.9 or 1.8 or even lower and the chip might start functioning properly. So in that way, it is still possible to make the chip work if you had a setup timing violation in your design. But in case of hold timing violation, we know that hold timing is usually not dependent on the clock period. So hold violations are usually considered chip killers and therefore hold timing violations must be fixed before tape out.